All right, well, it's that time of year again, the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, a place that has created lifetime memories for so many Houstonians. Yeah, but one memory that everyone is trying to avoid is getting scammed. If it's happened to you, it is not a good feeling. KPRC2 investigator Mario Diaz says the rodeo is taking steps to make sure the Houstonians head to the rodeo to enjoy the rides and all the fun that they're not being taken for one. How to not get scammed at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. That's how this story angle was presented to me. But I'm thinking to myself, wait a second, we're talking about the rodeo, a tradition for decades. We're talking about music and rides and bulls. There's no way that scams are happening at the rodeo. But wait, indeed, they are taking place here. I can say as a mom, it is. It is very concerning to me. I don't want somebody that has a family of four purchasing unvalidated tickets and then showing up here at the gate expecting to spend four or five hours with their children uh, because they didn't go to access.com or to rodeohouston.com. Amber Berta is the chief revenue officer for the rodeo. This means that she actually wears the hat that makes her in charge of all tickets and sponsorships. Berta tells me she is concerned for potential scams that are out there. And the good news is they are not as prevalent as they have been in the past. It's definitely declining because, you know, the, the pieces of technology that are coming out with access and with our app, it's really being able to uh, take control over those, uh, those, those bad actors in the world. The rodeo does have a new app where everything can be tracked, ranging from purchases to get inside to see a show to rides out here on the Midway. And why is this key? Because it can all be tracked. Berta's advice for going to the rodeo and not getting scammed is simple. The best way is to go to rodeohouston.com or use our mobile app. So the top target of getting digitally scammed at the rodeo has to do with what we all have to do before we even get inside, park our vehicle. How does someone make a copy of this and then go out and sell it and then people fall for it? They're making a color copy and then they are laminating it. Um, we've seen them in the past, um, but the thing is, is that you have a hologram, you can't, and we track all of these, who we give them to or we sell them to for season ticket holders, suite holders, things like that. So we can actually take the number and go track who made the copy of it. Lastly, whatever you do, don't purchase any kind of passes or tickets via social media. Berta says this is a prime area for being scammed. It's where it happens. She also adds that if you don't use the rodeo's website or app, well, those tickets cannot be validated. Mario Diaz, KPRC2 Investigates. Yeah, the bottom line for rodeo officials, purchase your tickets directly through their app or website. And remember, if you have a story for our KPRC2 Investigates team, call the tip line at 713-223-TIPS or email investigates at kprc.com.